previously on Water Your Soil. Because let's be honest, every credit report is different. Some people, they have credit limits of, let's say, 50000 when you total together all of their credit cards. Some have a total credit limit of, let's say, 5000 when you total together all their credit cards. Some people have extra debt other than credit cards on their credit report. Some people have no debt other than credit cards on their credit report. So it varies, and that's the reason why one specific number as far as utilization may not work for everyone. Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So this video right here, I'm going to take out some time, and I'm going to talk to those of you who are new to credit cards and who are new to FICO credit scoring. I've been seeing some comments on my channel, and I sense a little discouragement from some people. I'm getting comments on older videos and people are saying they've been rejected when applying for a credit card and they're not being approved. People are saying that their credit score won't budge. And I'm just seeing a lot of quit from some people. And I'll be honest with you all. I understand that I was there before. And this is a story that I'm going to share with you all. So years ago, this was more than 10 years ago, almost like 15 years ago or so. I was dating someone and I was in a relationship with a woman and she was advanced. You know, she had a corporate job and she would have all these credit cards. And she was like, hey, you should go and apply for a store credit card. And mind you, if you know my story and you've been watching this channel, you'll know that I used to have a Best Buy credit card and the Best Buy credit card ended up getting canceled due to a lack of usage and the story goes on i shared this story plenty of times on this channel i'm sure if you check out one of the older videos you will come across the story about the best buy credit card but i had the best buy credit card at that time and i wanted more because i wanted to build up my credit profile mind you during this time i don't believe secured credit cards were around so i had went to a store i think it was like uh maybe banana republic it was one of those stores and it was in the mall. And she was like, hey, you should go and apply to see if you could get a store credit card. That way you could continue to build up your credit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it because I do need to build up my credit. Mind you, this is back then. I really wasn't thinking about credit back then too much. And I really didn't know how credit worked. But I was like, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to apply. So I went in the store. I filled out the application. Back then, you just fill out the application manually. So I filled out the application. They put the application in the system, and they told me I was denied. And I remember the feeling that I felt when I was told that I was denied. You know, I left the store feeling rejected. Not only rejected, I was feeling down because I was thinking like, man, I only have one credit card, and how am I going to get another credit card if I just got rejected for this one? Mind you, back then, as I stated, I didn't know how credit cards really work. So I thought it was the end of the world as far as trying to get a credit card. So I really didn't consider or attempt to get another credit card after that until later on, like 2015, when I first got my secured credit card. But this was years prior to that. This was a good maybe seven or eight years prior to that. So I say that to say to you all that I understand what it feels like when you go and you apply for a credit card and it's not approved, I know that feeling. I'm familiar with that feeling. If you know my story from this channel about how I first applied for the Discover It secured credit card and the story that led up to that, you understand that I've been there before. So when you all come by and you're feeling discouraged because maybe your credit score isn't going up the way how you want it to go, or maybe you're not being approved for a certain credit card, a specific credit card that you want to be approved for. And all I can say to you all is just continue to fight on, continue to press through. That's all you can do. That's what I did. That's what numerous other people who I've helped over the years have done. And I encourage you all to do it as well, because you're going to end up learning so much in the process of trying to build up your credit score or trying to get approved for a credit card. And there's so much that you learn during the process that is going to help you both in the present and in the long run. I understand. I feel empathy towards your situation because I've been in that situation before. I've been in your shoes before. I know how I felt to be rejected. The one thing that you all have over me and what I felt during that time when I went to the store and applied for the credit card and was rejected 
back then it wasn't a lot of options there weren't many options at all when i got rejected for that card it wasn't no secured credit card that i could go to and apply for you all on the other hand there are options there are a lot of secured credit cards out here now that you can go and apply for and help yourself and if you can't do it that way you have time to pay down some of your debt to build up your score whatever the issue may be and then you'll be able to apply in the future so whatever your issue or your situation may be my advice to you is to look at your credit report all three of your credit reports one from Experian, Equifax and TransUnion find out your trouble areas on there see what's hurting your score See what's helping your score. Find out the areas that you need to improve on. Specifically, more than likely, it probably would be an area where you have debt. So if you do have debt, try to pay it off. I know the economy is doing pretty bad right now. But if you can, even if you have to pick up an extra job, try to pay it off and try to pay it down if you can't pay it off. Because that's what you're really going to need to do in order to try to increase your credit score. Also, if you did get rejected for a credit card that you applied for find out from the credit card company what was the reason that they rejected you and denied you they'll share it with you they're not going to withhold that reasoning from you so when you find out that's an area that you want to work on whatever it may be they're going to let you know what the reason is when they reject you so when you find out that's the area that you want to focus on and you want to put work in on that specific area. But please, whatever you do, even if you are feeling discouraged, because feeling discouraged is a human thing. You know, it's OK to feel discouraged, but just know that the picture is bigger than what's going on right now. Trust me, I've been there. I've been frustrated. I've been feeling down about my credit score. Like I always say on this channel, I came from a 549 credit score. I know what it feels like to have poor credit is nothing to laugh about is nothing to be excited about but if you put in the work in and you are consistent there are better days ahead for you in regards to credit cards getting approved for credit cards as well as improving your FICO credit score and hopefully in the future you will be in a good or excellent credit score range preferably the excellent credit score range but I just wanted to come on here and talk to you all and encourage you all hopefully you stick with it don't just feel discouraged without actually fighting back but anyways if you're new here and you feeling the vibe over here this is water your soil be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on all notifications that way you don't miss a future video and this goes to every single one of you that's watching this video right now be sure to hit the like button the like button helps this video circulate it lets the algorithm know that you're filling this video as i stated and i'm serious continue to press through Continue to put the work in, continue to learn as much as you can about credit cards and FICO credit scores, and hopefully things will turn around for you because you're going to need your credit score in these next couple of years. A lot of people say, oh, cash is all that matter. You're not going to need a credit score, but in reality, you more than likely will. This is Word of Your Soil. I appreciate every single one of you for watching, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years, it's titled, strategies to master credit the book is available it's on amazon it's on barnes and noble most online bookstores have the book and the book is basically about how fico credit scoring works once you understand how fico credit scoring works you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build develop and maintain a good credit score so check the book out whenever you get a chance